Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be doing something a little bit special. Uh, this is special to me. You can probably already tell from the title of the video what we'll be doing today. Uh, but um, I'm going to go ahead and just lead into it. Uh, I'm sure many uh, train enthusiasts uh, have done the same, but... I grew up watching Thomas and Friends, and uh, I absolutely loved it, and I, since I've gotten into the model railroading uh, hobby, I've been thinking about collecting some Thomas and Friends model trains, because apparently they make them, and, um, I mean, who, who wouldn't? It's a way to make a lot of money. Anyways... Uh, I originally wasn't going to buy this set, but I found it for a really good price on Mercari, and so here I have it right now, and I bump the camera while I do that, but anyways, this is the Thomas with Annie and Clarabel starter set, and uh, I was able to get it uh, for like Seventy seventy two dollars uh before shipping and costs and stuff, but seventy two dollars for the set actually isn't too bad, uh especially because it's going way over a hundred dollars brand new. Uh the seller said that it's in good condition and that it should run just fine. It has all the pieces. So let's go ahead and take a look at the box just a little bit. Uh, right here we just have a little picture of what's inside and as you can see the previous owner uh, put the tray into the box upside down um, on the side here we have a count of everything that we get in here so we have one Thomas one Annie one Clarabelle one speed controller one power pack one uh, terminal and 11 curved pieces and then on the back we have a little bit of text here that we can read and a full picture of the layout right here. I'm just going to read this part. Thomas and his loyal coaches, Annie and Clarabel, are carrying a number of very important passengers and you're invited to join in their adventures. This electric train set is the perfect way to begin your N-scale Thomas and Friends collection. Well, how about that? Perfect way to start a Thomas and Friends collection. Um, I know this is more geared towards kids, but adults can still enjoy this. It's it's really just the nostalgia that makes me want to have this. And there's really not much else on the box, so we will go ahead and crack it open and see what's inside. It's my first time opening it up and testing it out, so we will see. How well it actually works. Oh, and they kept all the paperwork in there. Hold on. That's a lot of paperwork. Okay. Maybe there's something in here. Oh. You know who doesn't like these? Comment down below and if, if, if you know who likes to uh, rip these up and throw a nasty fit about those so yeah here we get a description of what's inside pretty simple paper and this is in Spanish I think we get the same paper right here this one's yeah this one is in English let's see what it says Oh, that's the warranty. So, here's the front. Here's the back. And I'm not going to bore you guys with all that reading right there. Uh, here we have instructions. So, oh, it says break in period right here. So, I mean,. This has been previously owned, so I don't think we're going to have to break it in. 
uh, it might already be fine. I might think about giving it some grease or some oil or something. But anyway, here we have an exploded diagram of Thomas. Uh, very good. Uh, that will be useful for uh, maintenance and taking care of Thomas. And we have this thick stack of papers. Let me see what it's all about. I think it just explains how to put the track together and how to also operate the trains right there. I've got some nice black and white pictures. Yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go over the whole thing, but yeah, there's some things that a typical beginner might want to know. So, anyway, all right, I'm putting the papers all back in the box, and now we're just gonna get on to the most important thing, the thing that we're most interested in, which is the actual set. And there it is, right there. It looks like we have the terminal track in a separate place with another curve right here. And there's the rest of them. It looks like it's all full. So we have all the curves here. We have the speed controller right there. And this is the power pack. Uh, it all looks intact. There's the track wire. Yeah, it all looks pretty fine and dandy. This is way smaller than I thought it would be. I mean, I knew it would be small, but it is way smaller than I thought it would be. Oh no. Okay, it looks like Thomas is missing some buffers. Oh no. I wonder if they say that in the description. Um, yeah, that doesn't look too great. Missing some buffers. Anyway, yeah, he fits in the palm of your hand. That's how tiny he is. That's insanely small. Yeah, other than that, everything else looks fine. Yeah, I don't think... I don't think the missing buffers are going to bother me too much. But that is a little bit disappointing. Go look at the face. Yeah, that's a pretty good Thomas face, I would say. Let's put him back. And here, this one is Annie. This is the Annie coach. There's the face. And Clarabelle is just the same. It's a pretty simple little coach. And here's Clarabelle. These all look pretty good for being used. Uh, Clarabelle's missing a buffer. Here, how about how about this one? Oh, yeah, right there. Yeah, there's a buffer missing right there. Man, I never thought that the buffers would just fall off like that. Anyway, yeah, that's a bit disappointing, but that's okay. It's, um, I wasn't expecting much from a secondhand set. Uh, I guess we should go ahead and test and see, uh, if everything is electrically working properly. Just before setting this up, I just realized that I forgot to have my mic on for that whole last shot, so uh, the audio quality is going to be a little bit different. But anyways, I should have the mic on right now. It should be working. So now we finally have the little circle set up together of Backman Easy Track. Backman Easy Track is um, such a terrible thing to put together. Um, I forgot how bad it was. But, anyways, I finally got it all aligned correctly. 
and um, we finally have Thomas on the track and the two uh, Clarabelle and Annie coaches on the track. Um, and something that I did notice is that the couplers uh, were having trouble staying at the same height and Thomas is leaning to one side. So I'm gonna have to see if I can uh, fix that, um, make Thomas level again. Anyways, uh, let's see if he at least works electrically. So we'll go ahead and we have it all plugged in. The indicator light is on, showing that we have power to the speed controller. And let's see if we can get Thomas moving right here. And he's struggling a little bit. I might have to do some maintenance on this one, but yeah, I'll bring it up to 50% and that's about as fast as he goes at 50% speed. Um, and that leaning is really bad. Yeesh. Yeah, I'm gonna have to fix that. But yeah, it runs kind of rough and I don't know if that's just because of the Backman Easy Track or if it's because of the Backman easy controller or if it's because of anything from Backman. It could be Thomas or it could be the system or it could be both. Um, which is why we're going to go ahead and test it on my layout with the Kato track and the Tech 2s. So yeah we'll go ahead and get that on that track right now. Here we have Thomas on the middle line of my little layout right here and so we're going to turn on the middle controller and make sure the direction is set the right way I think that should be forward so let's turn up oh no that's that's forward yeah, come on all right yeah it's oh the coupler came apart yeah, those are not doing well here. We'll go ahead and plug this in. Switch that. And it doesn't work. And I still need to plug this in. Okay. Yeah, now it should work. So we'll... And it came apart. Hold on. Okay. No. Hold on. What is happening? Uh, it looks like that it's just that bottom outlet that's not functioning right now. So we're gonna have to forego the electrical switching for now. Um, okay, I'm gonna set this over here and we're just gonna pull them over. And let's get Thomas on his way now, around the layout. Come on, there we go. And we'll see, and we'll turn him up to 50%. And watch him limp around. Yeah, I feel like I will have to do some maintenance on this guy. I have come to the conclusion that he is running better on my layout. Um, don't know if that's really important or if I'm just being biased. So I've already gotten ahead of myself and I started disassembling Thomas before starting the recording, but uh, that's okay because it was just um, just the wheels that I took out and something that I noticed 
is that all the axles have their own proper bearings, uh, which is actually very good considering that this is supposed to be a toy um, sort of thing. And uh, something that I noticed is that the bearings were actually out of place, so they weren't inserted into their slots correctly, and so I suspect that that might be the problem for Thomas being lopsided. Um, and then the gears also look bone dry, so there's virtually no lubrication there, so I'm going to have to get some oil and some grease and lubricate those uh, that gearbox so that it uh, can run a little bit better. Uh, there's also some hairs that I see around the axles, and yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and keep uh, disassembling this and see if there's anything else I need to do to Thomas before uh, we get him back on the track and running. <laughs> I think I need to be doing any more to this. It looks like a pretty simple mechanism. I'll just need to get in there to put some oil and grease onto that worm drive, uh, which then will transfer down here. I'll also put some oil and grease down here onto this gear where it meets up with the wheels. And I also think these pickups should be um, rearranged a little bit, so I'll go ahead and do that and get this all taken care of. I think we're all done uh, fixing him up, and we have him back on the track now. I don't know if you can tell, but he is no longer leaning to one side. He is now straight as an arrow. Um, I'm glad I was able to catch that with the bearings uh, being out of place. So I think what what all we need to do now is uh, run him in and make sure all that grease and oil uh, gets distributed through the gears and through the axles correctly so that he can run smoothly and then after that we'll go ahead and get Annie and Clarabelle uh, hooked up behind him and uh, we'll have just a short run around the layout with him. I have the camera set down uh, looking at Thomas right now and we're gonna go ahead and turn it on see if it runs better at all just right after being oh yeah no that's a lot better oh. I might have to clean up his wheels or something or clean up the track sometime soon 
but yeah, he's running smoother, at least in terms of mechanically. Hmm. Yeah, I think his wheels just need a little bit of cleaning, but we'll go ahead and run him around um, about half speed and we'll let him run in those gears and get them all uh, lubricated. Let's just watch him go around the layout one more time. I mean, it looks like he's doing a lot better, so I think we'll just leave him here for, I don't know, maybe 15, 15 minutes in each direction, uh, just because he's already been uh, pre-used and doesn't need that long of a run in time, so we'll be back in about... 30 minutes-ish. So there's Thomas, all run in and ready to go. It's actually been a little more than half an hour by now because I noticed after a while of running him in that he was still running uh, quite shaky. It was very jittery still. So I decided to go ahead and clean the wheels. After I cleaned the wheels, it ran a whole lot better. And so uh, we're just gonna see what that looks like right now with, uh, we're gonna try and make him crawl a little bit. So see how slow we can get him without him cutting out, yep. It's actually pretty good. He's running very well now. It pays to know how to do some work on your on your things. Yeah, backwards backwards motion isn't as great as forwards motion. But that's fine because we're not going to see Thomas go backwards very much anyways. So, yeah, that's working very well now. Uh, let's go ahead and get him coupled up to Annie and Clarabelle now. So we'll go ahead and switch that. Um, the outlet has decided to work again, so um, we're going to go ahead and use the electricity that no we need to go the other direction let's turn that up to like 20 there we go see if we can make it over come on probably should have had him going a lot faster but that's fine we'll have him going faster the other way uh, let's see, has he coupled up? Yeah, it looks like he has. I also solved the coupler problem while I was getting him fixed up, so... He couples properly to his coaches now. And there he goes, running better than he was before. Uh, I have to keep him at a higher speed still, just because um, it's still not a very great, in very great condition, so yeah, we just
Well, that's going to conclude today's video. Uh, there are still some problems with Thomas that I've noticed. He's still not running as well as I would like him to. He keeps stopping at random places and uh, just doesn't want to run at low speeds at all. So I'm going to have to figure out how to fix that. But... Um, yeah, it was, it was fun. It was fun working on it and running it around the track. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.